today I'm going to answer some of the questions we got on Twitter. So let's go for the first one. How old are you? Can you describe your background and how you came up with this idea? I'm 25, I started coding when I was 13 or 14. Well, at the beginning, just as a hobby. And my first project was to build a CMS, a game CMS, uh, for one of my customers. And I never lived the world, uh, the CMS world uh, since then. What is your role within Strapy? As a CPO, my main goal is to lead the vision. I'm getting a lot of insight from the community, from our product board. I try to align them with our vision and uh, with our roadmap. Uh, eventually, sometimes it's a little bit tricky to do it, uh, but we are trying to accept all the insights we have. So we got a question from Martin. Thank you, Martin. Uh, how do you make long-term decisions regarding the framework? The developer experience is the most important thing for us. We know exactly what Scrappy should look like in two or three years. So we are trying to, to, to build the product as developers because we are developers. And uh, sometimes we prefer to promote the user experience uh, over the, the right way to do it as a developer. So I, I think Strapi is a, a great balance between both. We have a pretty good uh, developer experience, but also the user experience in the administration panel is uh, very important. And I think that's what the, one of the things that makes uh, the difference uh, right now. How often do you stumble over existing parts that need rewriting? that do not fit in your today's vision of Strapi. Uh, very often, um, because right now, I, I think you're pretty sure you know it, but uh, we are currently re rewriting uh, the administration panel and all the uh, plugin framework. Um, there are a lot of part of the code base that didn't change uh, since the very beginning of Strapi. And I think we have pretty solid base, um, but we can do far better and we can improve a lot uh, the code base and specific parts uh, of the project. Um, let's go to the next one. <laughs> is the vision clear? Uh, is it becoming clearer every day? Uh, yes, the vision is uh, clear and it's becoming clearer every day. Um, as an example, uh, the roadmap is defined for the next 12 months and more. Um, the main issue we are facing uh, is the lack of human resources and uh, contributors in the project. Uh, we have a lot of features uh, to do. And uh, yeah, we, we are looking for people and we are hiring. So uh, <laughs> you can apply on our, our website <laughs> if you want. <laughs> oh, a question for Derek. Uh, hi, Derek. <laughs> what are some of your current short-term and long-term plans with regard to the Strapi roadmap? Um, so the, the next big uh, challenge we have is to rebuild all the, all the plugin framework we, we have. We plan to, to add a new hook system to uh, let plugins uh, connect together and, and add some better interaction together. And the next feature we are going to release is the repeatable field. Um, so it's one of the missing features, it's asked a lot by the community and we have a lot of feedback and insight on it, um, so thank you again. The next feature we plan to release is the, is the translation um, plugin. Um, a lot of people want to translate their content in many, several languages. Um, so this is the next plugin. Uh, this plugin won't be free, but I will talk about, uh, about it later. So, uh, we have a question of Bruce. Uh, thank you, Bruce. Why is Trapi over Stewie Black? Um, so, for, for this video, when I saw the, your, your question on Twitter, um, I tested the story block, uh, block again. Um, so, they, they have a, a visual approach, um, which is great, um, I think, for building websites. But when you, as a netless CMS, when you want to build a mobile app, or you want to, to connect your API with a, a connected object, um, I, I think this, this approach can be limited. 
and also Storyblock is a cloud-based solution, that, so you cannot customize uh, the administration panel, you cannot customize the API, um, you, you, you don't know where the data is stored and you don't know the owner of your data, whereas when you are using Strapi, you, you, you own everything, you own the data, you own the, your, your code, you own your API, and you can customize everything. Um, so th that's why I believe in the Strapi approach, but um, yeah, it's, it's a great product, but it's not the same. They are cloud based and we are open source. Next one. Another one for Derek. Given your work done on GraphQL plugin, do you feel it, it's better, worse than the rest? Or do you feel both should be used? Uh, great question. I think both approaches are great. Uh, really, GraphQL is a super technology and REST as well. So I really love, I really do love GraphQL. Um, but both approaches are, are great and you can use whatever you want. A question from Neil. Windows support. Uh, you should use a Mac. <laughs> no, not really. Yes, we, we have to admit that uh, we run perfect on Windows. But we, we focus a lot on our effort improving uh, Windows support during the last months. So you sh should go check it out and um, I hope you will like it. Would you mind sharing some business cases that use Trapi? That would be really cool to have some great integration best practice. Uh, yeah, we have uh, a lot of big companies which are currently using Strapi. Uh, if you go on our website, you can see that we have IBM, we also have Azos and Discovery Channel and a lot more that we cannot um, share with you, but you can use Strapi to build a mobile application, you can Strapi with Gatsby to build a front-end website, and you can use Strapi to build a connected object or whatever you want. If you want to share content on any kind of devices and platform, um, Strapi is a, is a product to do it. Another question from Derek. Uh, I hope you have a great time in Phoenix, Derek. What are your thoughts on getting Strapi profitable? Um, as you might know, Strapi is an open source project. Uh, it's free and will always stay free. But uh, this summer we plan to release, for example, the translation plugin, and this plugin uh, won't be free. Uh, you will have to pay to use it. So this is our main business model. We also plan to do support and even hosting uh, in the long term. Um, so yeah, that's the main point uh, of point of our business model. Question from Lopion. Will you offer a SaaS version of Strapi with three environments in the near future, like Directus? Yeah, it, it could happen. Uh, not in the near future, but yeah, it, it might happen in more than two or three years, sure. And the last one, are you single? <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the end. Thanks everyone for watching this video. So please leave a comment below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, if you have any question, please ask us on Twitter, Slack, or GitHub. Um, and see you soon. Bye.